And police say the gunman killed two people before he was killed with those paver stones. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to I Seen That Reaction Channel. Hopefully, y'all having a good day out there. Hopefully, y'all had a nice, good weekend. My weekend was pretty good. You know, uh, just chilled out with the family. We had a little barbecue. Had a little family good together. You know, a little something slight. But, you know, overall, my weekend was great. So, uh, it's Monday, man. We back at it. Another reaction today. Another reaction today. So, check this out, right? And this reaction, we gonna be reacting to Fort Worth man gets stoned to death after shooting up a house party. Now, I don't know what's going on, what uh, Buddy was doing at the house party, what made him want to shoot up this house party, but just for you doing that, for you to get instant karma, and you get stoned to death, like... <laughs> <laughs> like you you get that karma man you get that karma man you up in the party and you just want to get mad and just start shooting up the place man so hey you got that instant karma man but it's crazy that that boy got stoned like that's that that's back in in, in jesus day like <laughs> <laughs> that boy getting stoned, man. That's a horrible death right there, man. Like, even though you at the party shooting up people, but boy, they just stoned you. <laughs> hey, man. It's funny to me, man, because that's exactly what you get, man. That's exactly what you get. So, uh, we just gonna go ahead and jump into this, uh, reaction and see exactly, like, what done happened, like, what's going on, y'all? Fort Worth police say neighbors and witnesses to a shooting at a party chased down the gunman and killed him with landscaping stones. Good evening, I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock, several people were wounded, and police say the gunman killed two people before he was killed with those paver stones. The shooting murders were the second act of violence in that same neighborhood on the same day. Police also investigating another shooting from Sunday afternoon. And this is the same neighborhood rocked by violence after a July 4th celebration. Fox News Macy Jenkins, live with the latest. Macy. Well, Heather and Steve, uh, Fort Worth police are investigating this violent ending to a party that began on Sunday evening, and they are stressing to everyone, do not chase down a gunman on a shooting spree. It's just something that we don't believe it shouldn't have happened. A backyard party in the Como neighborhood of Fort Worth early Monday morning ended with three in the hospital and two dead. One wow. shot to death and the shooter stoned to death by, by witnesses. witnesses. Tragic, heartbreaking because it happened, because it took a life. Fort Worth police got the call just before 1 a.m. from the 5600 block of Shiloh Drive, where they found multiple victims with gunshot wounds. Investigators say it started when one person at the party got upset and left, but returned and got into an argument with several people. Then police say that person started shooting. People at the party then started chasing the shooter who continued to fire the gun. That's when police say multiple people attacked the shooter. Oh, yeah. They get stones from uh, pavers, stone pavers from the from the home. They were throwing them at the uh, the shooter. He was then, he either, they either caught him, he either fell to the ground, uh, and at that time he lost his life. Let I that boy have by stone. Police described the stones as concrete Woo! landscaping bricks and just feet away Woo! from that backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look how big these bricks is. Oh, yeah. They went in. They went in. Hey, man. Karma. That's all, that's all I can say about this is karma. People are at this party trying to enjoy themselves, and you want to get that upset, that upset to where you got to come back and just start shooting up the party and, and, and killing people. And then the police talking about, you know, don't be going and run after a gun. Yeah, that's true. But it's a lot of individuals out here, man. They, they tired of being put in these situations, you know. 
And if they could probably try to take matters into their own hand and 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 get the get the person up out of there, that's what they gonna do. And that's exactly what they did. <laughs> boy, they stoned that boy. Look at these brick. Ooh wee. Yeah, yeah. They gave that boy pain. Fox 4 found this large stack Woo! of bricks that match that description. Officer Tracy Carter with a clear warning about the crowd's reaction. Let the authorities take, you know, take their position. Let us let us handle this. But we, we do not advise someone going after someone that has a gun. Police also investigating another shooting Sunday afternoon in the same neighborhood. Police say a man was shot in the neck, but fled the scene before officers arrived and drove himself to a nearby hospital. We've got to do a much better job obviously, of, of managing our anger, of learning to settle dispute. Community activist Estris Tucker says he worries that new Como residents don't take the same pride in or show the same concern about the neighborhood as the long-timers seem to do. We try to find ways to redeem the narrative and say this is not who we are, this is not what we're about, and, and continue to lift our standards and our expectations for our neighbors. Homicide detectives are still investigating and interviewing witnesses. At this point, it's unclear if anyone could face charges. They haven't so far. All right, y'all, so we back. Yo, you see how big them bricks are? Boy! Oh, yeah, yeah, they definitely done, done K that boy face, his whole head in, all of that just gone. Yeah, they done got that boy up out of there. But um, that's pretty interesting, like towards the end, I was kind of wondering like, is anybody gonna go to jail for that? Because you know with the law, it's just so many different ways that they turn and twist it. So they'll probably say, okay, if the guy was at the party and he shot up the party, but then he left and his back was turned and y'all started throwing these bricks and stones at him and killing him, is that going to be considered murder, manslaughter, or whatever because the guy back was turned? Because, you know, they got that little stupid law. If somebody break in your house and if they running out the door and you shoot them in the back, now you can go to jail for that. So it's just a sticky situation. But I'm, I'm trying to wonder, like, what's going to happen? Because at the end of the day, you know, these people feel like they may be in the right and they just, you know, Claiming self-defense. Hey, man, Boyd was up in there trying to air the thing out, which he was. We seen these little brick stones, and hey, we had to let that boy have it. <laughs> oh, man, hey. It's unfortunate, man, the whole situation, but boy, is that not instant karma? Oh, man, and then you just get stoned to death? Man, that, woo boy, hey, God ain't show you no love. He did not show you no love at all, man. Hey, but that's all I got for y'all on this reaction video. If you're here on the channel for the first time, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you comment on the video. And make sure you subscribe. Turn on that bell notification so you can be aware the next time your boy, Mr. I Say That, drops his next reaction video. Until the next time, y'all know the vibe. Yeah.